So today is my last Halloween video for this month. I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this vintage white rabbit look. October was a really horrible month for me. It was really hectic, so I didn't have time to practice this look before filming as I usually do. Um, this video contains quite a lot of trial and error, and I'm sorry for some of the mistakes I made, but I did try my best to teach you guys the things that I learned from those mistakes. So I hope you guys can enjoy this video regardless, and let's get right into it. I'm using my go-to favorite primer to prime the face first, because we are going to be putting a lot of products on this face. So I'm starting off with concealing all of my imperfections and some of this redness going on. So I'm just dabbing my favorite heavy duty concealer basically everywhere and I'm just going to be blending that into my skin with my fingertips. So like I said, I was really pressed for time and I was really lazy so I didn't want to go out and buy white face paint. Since this look is a white rabbit look, I wanted to make the skin look as white as possible. I just tried to make do with whatever I had so I picked out my lightest shade of foundation. So I'm just dabbing this all over my face and I'm going in with a pretty thick layer so I can conceal my actual skin tone underneath. I'm using my fingers to blend this in roughly just so I get a very nice even layer. So I'm going in with my favorite makeup sponge and I am just blending this foundation into my skin And of course because we are changing our skin tone you want to be sure to blend down that product way down the neck and this is mistake number one that I made. I didn't blend down the product low enough because I was afraid of ruining my clothes, but you can see very obviously where I didn't blend the product low enough and I thought it wouldn't be noticeable, but on camera, of course, it's super noticeable. It's better to play it safe and get a little bit of makeup on the inside of your clothes rather than looking like an idiot like I do. So I'm taking this stark white eyeshadow and using a big fluffy brush, I am patting this all over my skin to set my foundation foundation So that's it for our white base. Let's start going in with some color. So for this entire look, I'm going to be using these blushes from my Ofra Cosmetics palette. I'm going in with this medium pinky shade and using a fluffy brush, I am going to create a rabbit shaped nose. It's really easy to do. You guys can see how I'm creating the rabbit nose by just following the natural shape of my nose. You wanna stay under the tip of your nose and just follow the guidelines of your nostrils. It sounds really weird, but it makes perfect sense when you do it. And I'm also lightly blending that color down my Filtrum. With that same medium pinky shade, I am bringing that pretty heavily over the apples of my cheeks. So for the eyes, I'm using a very light pinky color and I'm going to be putting this all over my eyelid and blending pretty high up into my brow bone just so that I can hide my natural skin tone underneath. I'm applying this with a pretty soft hand. I just want a very light wash of color as our base for the rest of the eyeshadows. With that same medium pinky shade that we were using before for the blush, I'm going to be applying this on my eyelids, staying just below the crease just to give it a little bit more color. Then taking this darker pinky shade, I'm adding just a slight bit on my outer corners just to deepen up the eyes and add a bit of more definition, and then I'm blending all of that together. Using a smudger brush, I'm taking that same light pink eyeshadow and smudging it all along my lower lash line. And then taking the medium pink shade, I am applying this on the outer corners of my lower lashes. And this is going to help make the eyes appear more round and more rabbit-like. So that's it for the shadows. Now I'm going in with my lip color. I'm taking this lip color and lightly dabbing it on the center of my lips. And then using my fingertips, I'm blending it out for a soft finish. Then I'm going back in with a dark red lipstick and I'm just dabbing this onto the center of my lips for a slight ombre effect. To finish off the cheeks, I decided to add some freckles. I thought that it would just be cute. I've shown you guys my method for how I like to create fake freckles. Um, so this might be a little bit repetitive, but for those of you guys who haven't seen me do this before, um, I take a medium dark brown eyeshadow. 
I take a pointed eyeliner pen, I dab it into the eyeshadow, wipe the excess off the back of my hand, and with the smallest amount of product, I dab it lightly over my face. So I like to concentrate my freckles on where the sun hits the highest points of your face, so that's going to be the apples of your cheeks and on the nose bridge. I stop here and there and use my finger to just lightly blend out the freckles onto the skin. Um, I do this here and there so that I get a combination of softly blended out freckles and some that are a little bit more harsh, and I just find that this makes them look a little bit more natural. So to finish off the entire look, I decided to try out some white eyelashes. So I already curled my eyelashes and I'm using a fiber mascara to first lengthen my lashes as the base. I know that the mascara I'm using is black, but I just wanted to um, make the eyelashes longer and more defined before I put the white on top. And of course, you want to do this for both your top and bottom lashes. So I find that colored mascaras really just don't do the job for me. They're not pigmented at all and they just look kind of shitty. So I came up with an alternative. I'm using a white eyeliner instead and I'm just going to coat this over my eyelashes like a mascara. The eyeliner dried really quickly so as I was painting over my eyelashes, it made them appear kind of clumpy. I think if you're going to replicate this look, I think it would look much neater and nicer if you had a spoolie or a mascara wand to comb through the lashes as you're applying the layers and I think that would help prevent the clumping. I started working on my other eye and I totally painted over my entire eyeball. Because I'm wearing lenses, it just painted over a layer and I was like, huh, that's, that's pretty cool, it's kind of funny. And then it started to burn. <laughs> I teared out the eyeliner from my eye so I was totally fine afterwards. I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? Of course. So after that horrible mishap, I'm just finishing up the look by painting over my bottom lashes as well. So I am putting on my super puffy wig. I wanted a really fluffy one because I thought, fluffy, rabbits, it makes sense. I had these old pair of bunny ears for like three years and I was like, perfect, I want to use this in a makeup look for Halloween. Unfortunately, they don't match my wig in terms of color, but I was like, fuck it, it's fine, let's just roll with it. And that's it for this entire look. Like I said, there was so much trial and error there are so many mistakes in this video. Um, I can only apologize, but hope that you guys enjoyed the video regardless and found at least a little bit of inspiration from it. So that's it for the Halloween videos that I'm doing this month. Halloween is just a couple days away. I hope you guys have a really awesome Halloween. I love Halloween, so I hope you guys have a really awesome Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys again in November.